वेलकम बैक टू लिटरेचर गाइड टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ इंग्लिश नॉवल द एपिस्टलरी नॉवल इट इज अ नॉवल रिटर्न इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ सीरीज ऑफ लेटर्स एक्सचेंज बिटवीन द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ द नॉवल द स्टोरी इज यूजली अनफोल्डेड थ्रू द एक्सचेंज ऑफ लेटर्स ऑफ द वेरियस कैरेक्टर्स इन द नॉवल दिस फॉर्म वॉज इन वोग इन द एटीन सेंचुरी इट इज सेड दैट जेम्स हॉवल इंट्रोड्यूस्ड दिस एपिस्टोलरी फॉर्म ऑफ राइटिंग इन इंग्लैंड This video contains all the important information about epistolary novel I have already produced three videos on english novel the gothic novel the campus novel and the thesis novel you can watch those videos all the videos produced they are important for the students who are pursuing the net and set examinations i don't want to waste your time let's dive into the video and enjoy it epistolary novel the epistolary novel is a form of english novel in which a story of the novel moves forward by the exchange of letters and journals by one or more of the characters it imparts an opportunity for the correspondents to express their point of view the multiplicity of viewpoints of many characters produces the impression of diversity in the epistolary novel The novelist unfolds the story gradually and it gives the writer some room to maintain interest till the end. Though the epistolary novels have been written in a comic and satiric vein, they have serious purpose. The epistolary writing flourished in the Victorian era. It was widely used by the English and French writers. In the 18th century, epistolary novels were written with a didactic and moral purpose. especially Samuel Richardson's novels Pamela and Clarissa The epistolary novel was introduced to the British Isles by James Howell The earliest example of epistolary form of writing is James Howell's work Familiar Letters Domestic and Foreign The work was produced between 1645 and 1655 James Howell's Familiar Letters contain imaginary correspondence and they were composed during the years of the writer's imprisonment William Makepeace Thackeray aptly remarked Montaigne and Howell's letters are my bedside books I like to hear them tell their old stories over and over again In Familiar Letters James Howell has taken a retrospective view of history which appeals to every reader The novel Love Letters between a nobleman and his sister of Afra Ben was published in 1684. It can be deemed as the earliest example of epistolary novel. Though the authorship of the novel is doubtful, it has been attributed to Afra Ben. The novel deals with the story of illicit relationship between Sylvia and her brother-in-law, Philander. The novel has political undercurrent. Pamela or Virtue Rewarded was Samuel Richardson's first epistolary novel. It was published in 1741. The story of Pamela is told through the letters of Pamela and Mr. B. Almost all the letters in the novel are composed by Pamela. During her confinement, Pamela records her experiences in her letters. It is important to note that Samuel Richardson's novels deal with morality whereas Henry Fielding's fiction deals with manners. Samuel Richardson's Pamela was lampooned by Henry Fielding in his novel An Apology for the Life of Mrs. Shamelo Andrews. The novel appeared in 1741. The parody of Pamela has also been written in an epistolary form. 
There is correspondence between Parson Oliver and the gullible Parson Tickler text. Another novel of Henry Fielding namely, The History of the Adventures of Joseph Andrews and of his friend Mr. Abraham Adams was published in 1742. It is a parody of Samuel Richardson's novel Pamela. Samuel Richardson's novels laid the foundation for psychological novel whereas Henry Fielding's fiction built the platform for the social and satiric forms of literature. It is important to note that Eliza Haywood's novel, Anti-Pamela criticized Richardson's novel Pamela. The novel Anti-Pamela was published in 1744. Another epistolary novel of Samuel Richardson namely, Clarissa or the History of a Young Lady appeared in 1748. The story of Clarissa is told through the letters of Clarissa Harlow and Anna Howe. There is also a correspondence between John Belford and Lovelace which rolls the story further. It is interesting to note that Henry Fielding who criticized Pamela praised Richardson's Clarissa. John Cleland's Memoirs of a Woman of Pleasure appeared in 1748. It is also known as Fanny Hill. The novel has an epistolary structure. The novel was composed during John Cleland's imprisonment. The story of Fanny Hill is told through two long letters. Fanny Hill deals with Fanny's miseries and her misfortunes. The novel describes Fanny's journey from an ordinary life to a woman of pleasure. The novel stirred up the whole literary arena of the time. The novel ends on Fanny's marriage with a 60-year-old rich man. The novel was prosecuted and banned for its obscenity. Oliver Goldsmith's epistolary novel The Citizens of the World appeared in 1762. The Citizens of the World is primarily a collection of letters which comment on the absurdities of English life and manners. The letters are supposed to be written by Ortolin Xialtangi, a Chinese traveler in London. Other major characters are Man in Black and Bo Tibbs. The work is also known as Letters from a Chinese Philosopher. Francis Brooks' novel The History of Emily Montague was published in 1769. It holds some features of an epistolary novel. Tobias Smollett's epistolary novel The Expedition of Humphrey Clinker was published in 1771. The story of the novel is revealed through the letters of Matthew Bramble, Dr. Lewis, Jerry Melford, and Phillips. There is also exchange of letters between Tabitha and her housekeeper. The novel The Expedition of Humphrey Clinker has loose plot. The letters of the various characters unveil their hobbies, tastes and individual characteristics. The novel also presents the impressions of various characters on a family journey from Bath to London, Scotland and back to London. Their correspondence unfolds the manners and lifestyle of the period. In the novel, the readers meet two interesting characters namely, Liz Mahargo and Humphrey Clinker. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe's first novel, The Sorrows of Young Werther has an epistolary structure. It was published in 1774. The Sorrows of Young Werther deals with the unrequited love of the hero for a married woman, Lotta. The novel created a craze of wearing a blue coat and yellow breeches. The novel earned name and fame for Goethe. Fanny Burney's novel Evelina or A Young Lady's Entrance into the World is an epistolary novel. It was published in 1778. The novel Evelina deals with the adventures of a young girl on her entrance into the world. The novel ends on a happy note of marriage of Evelina and Lord Orville. Evelina was appreciated by Edward Gibbon, Samuel Johnson, and Edmund Burke. Fanny Burney has drawn lifelike portraits rather than mere caricatures of Tobias Smollett. Harriet Lee's novel Errors of Innocence has an epistolary structure. It was published in 1786. Hannah Webster Foster's epistolary novel namely, The Coquette appeared in 1797. The novel is known as The History of Eliza Wharton. It deals with the story of a woman of influential class of society who dies while giving birth to a stillborn child. The novelist has unfolded the story through the letters of Eliza Wharton and her friend, Lucy Freeman. 
The novel tells a story of Eliza who loves freedom and independence which becomes the cause of her downfall. The satire of English manners namely, Mordaunt of John Moore is published in 1800. The story moves further as the characters communicate with each other through letters. The novel Mordaunt also describes the upheavals in France through the letters of a French marquise. Jane Austen's famous novel, Pride and Prejudice was published in 1813. It has an epistolary structure. The title of the novel Pride and Prejudice is taken from Fanny Burney's novel Cecilia. The novel was originally titled as First Impressions. The chief characters of the novel are Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy. The character of Elizabeth Bennet was Jane Austen's favorite among all her heroines. Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein or the Modern Prometheus was published in 1818. Frankenstein is a gothic tale of terror written in epistolary style. The story is told through the letters of Walton, an English explorer in the Arctic. Mary Shelley has described a creation of a monstrous being by human science in this novel. Frankenstein, a young Genevan student of natural philosophy, discovers the secret of imparting life to inanimate things. He collects bones of dead human bodies kept in charnel houses and creates a monstrous creature. The tenant of Wildfell Hall of Anne Bronte has a complex epistolary and diary structure. It was published in 1848. The novel The Tenant of the Wildfell Hall is written in the first-person point of view and Gilbert Markham is the narrator. According to Charlotte Bronte the character of Huntingdon is based on their brother Bradwell. May Sinclair remarked, the slamming of Helen Huntingdon's bedroom door against her husband reverberated throughout Victorian England. Wilkie Collins's sensation novel, The Woman in White was published in 1860, it has an epistolary structure. The story is told through diaries and documentary testimony. The complex structure of the novel arouses interest in the readers. Wilkie Collins's The Woman in White holds elements of mystery, confinement and detection. Another novel of Wilkie Collins is The Moonstone also holds epistolary structure. The novel appeared in 1868. The character of Detective Sergeant Cuff arouses interest in the novel. Jane Austen's novel Lady Susan appeared in 1871. It is Jane Austen's only epistolary novel. There is an exchange of letters between Mrs. Vernon and her mother Lady de Courcy. Lady Susan and Mrs. Johnson also communicate through letters. The story describes the nature of Lady Susan who is charming, selfish, and disloyal. A. C. Swinburne's epistolary novel A Year's Letters was published in 1877. It was later republished as Love's Cross Currents in 1905. Bram Stoker's famous gothic novel, Dracula has an epistolary structure. The story of Dracula is told through the diaries of Jonathan Harker, his fiancée, Mina, Lucy, and Dr. John Seward. The story begins with Jonathan Harker's visit to Count Dracula's castle in Transylvania. He goes to a ruined chapel where he finds coffins of the Draculas. In one of the coffins, the undead Count Dracula is lying. The Dracula comes to Whitby and tries to vampirize Lucy. The letters and diaries unfold the story of Dracula artistically. Bram Stoker's Dracula was published in 1897. Virginia Woolf's novel essay, Three Guineas appeared in 1938. It has an epistolary form. There is a mingling of narrative chapters and essays in the work. Three Guineas is a sequel to Virginia Woolf's work, The Room of One's Own. Clive Staples Lewis's epistolary novel, The Screwtape Letters was published in 1942. It deals with theological issues. It presents a clash between temptation and resistance. The story is told through the letters from Screwtape to his nephew Wormwood. The novel contains 31 letters. Saul Bellow's novel Herzog has an epistolary structure. It deals with the story of Moses Herzog. The story moves forward through Moses Herzog's unsent letters. The novel was published in 1964. 
Alice Walker's epistolary novel The Color Purple appeared in 1982. The novel has hostile depiction of African American men which created controversy. Alice Walker's The Color Purple tells the story of Celie, a young black woman in the South. She is raped by the man she believes to be her father and then forced to marry an older man she abhorred. The story is told through the letters from Celie to God, and to her missionary sister Nettie. It is important to note that Alice Walker preferred a termed womanism to feminism. Alice Walker coined this term for she thinks that the feminists turn their back on the world. Thus, the epistolary novel is a form of fiction writing which imparted some freedom and scope to the writers to present various viewpoints of characters. The novelists could employ different narrators to tell their tales with different perspectives. Many epistolary novels have been published anonymously, especially by the women writers. The epistolary novel is one of the important and effective forms of writing. It has added beauty and charm. How is the video? I hope you like the videos. I have already produced many videos like this one. If you want to watch those videos, you can visit my channel Literature Guide. I would like to thank all the subscribers and non-subscribers who have given staunch support to this channel. I have recently produced many videos for the students who are pursuing NET and SET exams. Before I leave, I wish you all Happy Diwali. If you have any opinion, any view or if you find any error in the information provided in my videos, you can comment in the comment box. I will try to remove the errors from the videos. Once again, thank you very much for your support and wish you all happy Diwali. Meet you soon with a new and interesting video on a new topic. Meet you. Please subscribe Literature Guide.